Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is a um, quick review on the battery and the performance in general. Um, the performance may vary from people to people. This is just a quick overview. As you can see on top, uh, my um, battery is at 9%. It did automatically switch on, uh, what's it called, uh, the battery saver mode after a particular percentage. And I'd like to just walk you through how good the battery is uh, with the smaller battery in the UK for the Magic 7 Pro. So we just get into our settings and we go into batteries. Bam. We go battery. It's asking me to optimize some of the apps. It's just going to kill those apps. I don't want them to. Um, over here, you can see that the last charge that I did on this was actually much longer than this. This is just showing for today. But if we were to check, I last did a 100% charge on my um, phone. It was around 7 o'clock in the morning. Now, since then, I have been using the phone. And as you can see, there's a this is a voice over IP app. And then I used a lot of emails. Then again, the voice over IP app. We did some banking, some photo editing on photos, some WhatsApp. You can see it's, it's draining fairly decent. Yeah, as you can see, banking, this, that. You guys can see that sometimes it doesn't give the data because some of the data is blank because I think it was just a limited use. And uh, it just kept on going. Anyway, that's just an overview now of the entire battery. So 20% of it was used on YouTube, 12% on WhatsApp, just an average of it. So I still have, so from seven o'clock yesterday, the amount of uses I've actually done, I would say this is now, as you can see on top, the time is 9.30. So this is getting into the territory of nearly 12 hours, no, 14 hours, actually. And um, so it's giving me 14 hours and I think it's got, what, 37 more minutes left on the battery, depending on the way I'm using. So I would say it's nearly 14 hours battery and um, 14, 14 and a half hours battery. Uh, you guys will notice I don't game on my phone. That's true, I yeah, don't. I think there's only one game that I just pl played a little bit. Uh, I think Instagram took quite a lot of it over there between uh, last night when I was updating some things, some things on Gumtree, a lot of camera was used on Gumtree. And then again, photo editing. Yeah, as you can see, and WhatsApp takes quite a lot. Here was the biggest drain, which is YouTube. So having YouTube on and then Bot Time is another calling app that I used. And that's a little bit of gaming, 2248, nothing graphical. But Bot Time that was used was uh, taking 25% because it was a video call. Along with that, then in that hour, I did use quite a lot of YouTube. My child had the phone, so he was watching something on YouTube or something like that. So, um, yeah, oh, I did use DeepSeek as well. Yeah, uh, great software, by the way. Everybody should get it. And um, yeah, to be honest, um, it's fairly strong, fairly sturdy. And I think uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference on, um, on, whether, on whether it will it will work or not. Oh, that's, that's weird. Oh no, that's, sorry, uh, my mistake. 37 minutes are not left. In fact, one hour, 10 minutes are left. So we're talking in the territory of 14 and a half to close to 15, what I'm getting according to my limited usage. So, um, yeah, that's the type of battery, so the third generation silicon carbon. Funny enough, everybody's now showing off Samsung, um, iPhone and the rest are kind of like showing off that, oh, we're going to start using the silicon carbon batteries, the silicon carbon batteries. And Honor has been using it for a while. So why wait for these big brands to fool us into paying more money than uh, what you can get? So this is more value for money. And, and they, they try to optimize it and show that, yes, that the software... Some apps I've actually got as... Uh, uh, they, they shouldn't be killed because I really need to use them sometimes. So I need to get notifications. For example, this parking app and everything. Well, not just parking. Let's just say I'm going to pick an app where I need sometimes notifications for my kids. Like, so my kids sometimes give me an Alexa call. So I just go into Alexa. Hold on, this info... So this part I've actually turned off, so it's not being managed by the battery. And if I go into power usage, it says manage power consumption, and you say automatically manage, I've turned it off. So there are several apps that are consuming, as you can see. Look, look at this. It's constantly scanning for Bluetooth device in the background, blah, blah, blah. 
I wish there was a way to stop it, but it's not really draining too much of the battery. So there are apps that drain quite a lot of the battery. So, but I would say it's, it's a solid phone. Even with a smaller battery, it gives me a good 14, 15 hours uh, battery life. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. That's just a quick battery overview. And uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe.